All right, got a really good story here. Very, very happy about this, that they are taking a stand. Um, January 3rd, 2016, today's the 6th. So I'm really, this is very, very recent. Um, show you the article here. It says, Israel bans interracial marriage book. Israel, Israel's education minister has formally banned a book about an interracial affair between a Jew and a Gentile because the Jewish state's government says the book threatens Jewish identity and does not deal with the significance of miscegenation between Jews and non-Jews. And it goes on to say in this article here, um, you know, down here you can see Haaretz, uh, the Arab Jewish romance is what this book was about. So this, this book is actually supposed to be written it's almost like that broken back mountain pervert movie where they had you know the two sodomite cowboys and stuff it's supposed to make people oh they loved each other well, you know and and you get this thing you'll see these little propaganda pictures of a, a jewish boy and an arab boy and they got their arm around each other uh that's going against scripture brethren the bible plainly teaches that there is a a conflict between the jews and the arabs and that there is a distinction made between the flesh you say, prove that. I'd like to see that proof. Well, go to Galatians chapter 4. Um, Galatians chapter 4, verse 29. We'll start there. But it says here, But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit. The flesh there was, was uh, Ishmael. He that was born after the spirit would have been Isaac. Even so it is now. Yeah, the Arabs are persecuting the Jews over there in Israel. And, you know, Paul wrote this after the Jews, after the nation of Israel has rejected Jesus as their Messiah. So Paul's not saying, let's not make racial distinctions anymore. He's saying, oh no, they're still there. Look at verse 30. Nevertheless, what saith the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. So then, be, so then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. In other words, we're born in by a spirit of adoption. That's true. But God never said, okay, I am done with racial distinction, or kindred distinction would be the correct way to say it. But God's never done away with that. All right? When you read up in chapter 3, verses 28 through 29, where it's talking about there's neither Jew nor Greek, neither bond nor free, neither male nor female, uh, yes, there is. When you're all one in Christ Jesus, that means our position in Christ is is our our you know salvation. We're all one in Christ, but there is a distinction. There are still distinctions between Jews and Gentiles. Still distinctions between bond and free and male and female. Obviously, you know there's many 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 things in the New Testament talking about the distinctions between men and women. So again, it's just crazy that any Bible believers. Would, would go against the thing of what's going on here. You know, and I'm thankful that the Jews realize the imminent danger to their national identity by allowing this, it's, you know, miscegenation is, is the, the scientific word, basically, for interracial marriage. It is a movement of liberal communists, essentially, and Satanists, I'll, I'll really get some of the people going. Um, interracial marriage is not of God. All right. There were times it happened in the Bible. That's I'll grant you that. There were times that it happened. There were times that God did not expressly say, okay, this is a very great evil, this is a great wicked thing. But then there are times that it is spelled out as a great wickedness, as a great sin. Ezra and Nehemiah. You can't duck those passages. I see all this little back and forth, back and forth with this whole thing and calling me a heretic and everything else because I'm against interracial marriage. But what do you do with Ezra and, ne Ezra and Nehemiah? Interesting. But you see here again, God makes a distinction between physical Arabs and physical Jews. And the Jews of today, the they're in Israel, are saying, hey, this book coming in, trying to say this love story between an Arab and a Jew, and saying, oh, it's so terrible that the government's keeping us apart. No, it's not. No, it's not. And you see, you go back to Revelation chapter 7, there's a distinction made. Revelation chapter 7 is saying, you know, 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There's a distinction. Why? God preserves distinction. I mean, who's really the sick person here? 
Who's really the sick individual? One that says, I think that there should be separation, there should be segregation, distinction, preserve the distinctions of people, preserve the unique nationality, the unique ethnicity. That's what I stand for. That's what Ruckman stands for. That's what Eric John Phelps stands for. But you get these people, these wicked modern liberals, and they come out and they say, let's eliminate the distinctions. Let's all come together. Let me show you a nice little thing on that. Here we have uh, Brother Jeff Greider's website, Now the End Begins. I'll put this up on screen. Shock as Germany forced to admit that Cologne has become a Muslim no-go zone for women. 118 women now have admitted to being uh, harassed sexually. Some of even have, have even been raped there in Germany. This is just New Year's Eve, okay? Just a couple days ago in Germany. How's that integration working out? You see? So I'm a Bible believer, I'm, but I'm for integration. I'm for, you know, interracial marriage and stuff. Okay, let me ask you a question. How's the Antichrist kingdom going to come in? By getting everybody together or keeping them separate? You see? There's a lot of people that have reinterpreted the Bible because of their modern brainwashed mindset that they've gotten from the liberal, liberal media. It's just disgusting. I'm going to be talking more about this whole thing here too in the future. But it just it's it sickens me to see this stuff going on. What's happening to Germany? Oh, we you know, and the government over there. It's the government that's doing it through the Vatican's policies, you know. And they're saying, oh, come on in, come on in. We'll just bring in all these Arabs, and now it's creating the problems. You see, keep them in their own country. Keep them the set them, the, the bounds of their habitation that God set. You won't have the problems. But you see. Fortunately, thankfully, the Jews in Israel are saying, no, sorry, not only are our borders closed to just anybody coming in here, but also we're not even going to allow your stupid propaganda books in. You see, God is going to start dealing with the nation of Israel. As the Gentile nations are falling apart and the churches out there are just becoming so satanic and so wicked. Yeah, the Hillsong Church and these other ones and stuff, Rick Warren and Joel Osteen and all these just wicked devil worshipers, ministers of Satan. It's just disgusting. As that happens more and more, the focus of God is turning to the nation of Israel. They're in line with Scripture by banning a book on interracial marriage. Banning a book that a lot of you professing Christians would accept. Shame on you. 